Hello everyone, welcome back to the Muesli Farts channel and today we are doing a tier list for all 23 feature films from Pixar, from Toy Story all the way up to Soul, their latest feature film which is streaming on Disney Plus, just released on Christmas Day, so definitely go check it out if you have Disney Plus, it's a great film and certainly will be ranking pretty high on my tier list. There are six categories that I'll be putting these films in that are amazing at the top, then they'll be great, then good, then okay, then meh, then bad. I don't think any Pixar film deserves to go in bad, that's just my opinion. I know lots of you'd say maybe The Good Dinosaur or Cars 2, but I don't think any deserve to go in bad. Okay, we're going to start off with A Bug's Life. A Bug's Life was their second feature film, and I think it's going to go in okay. Oh yeah, by the way, I hope you guys had a great Christmas. I sure did, but I didn't get round to doing my video on The Grinch. Oh well. A Bug's Life is simply about an army of ants going against a group of grasshoppers who are stealing their food, and it's got an interesting host of characters, but it's nothing special in terms of Pixar. Brave is probably the least rewatchable Pixar film. It's also quite forgettable, and it's not actually a bad film, however it just lacks a direction and purpose at times, and I don't really see myself watching this film again anytime soon. But yeah, it's gonna go in okay, unfortunately. Okay, Cars. The reason Cars is on this side of the tier list is because I have a lot of nostalgia for this film, I've watched this film so many times, and I just know this film like the back of my hand, so I think I'm going to put it in great, because it is a great film in my opinion. Okay then, Cars 2, uh, unpopular opinion ahead, I don't think it's a bad film, I think I'm going to put it in okay, I don't think it's up to the level of Cars, or perhaps not even up to Cars 3, it's a bit of a mess, there's a lot going on, lots of plot lines and storylines all colliding, so many characters, it's just so different to the original, and yet it is one of the most entertaining Pixar films there is, it's just a fun and enjoyable film, uh, it's stupid, it's ridiculous, but I honestly like it. Okay then, Cars 3. Cars 3 I don't think is as entertaining or enjoyable as Cars 2 is. It's a legacy story though, and a comeback story from Lightning McQueen just trying to fight his way back to the top, but Cruz Ramirez is a worthy addition to the saga, while it isn't the most interesting character, is a worthy addition still, as it moves the story forward. It's the ending, however, also symbolises a new beginning. Um, I think it's better than Cars 2, because it's a better made film, not as enjoyable, but better made. Okay, Coco. Coco is a good film. If I were to rank all the Pixar films right now, uh, Coco would land somewhere in the middle of the pack. It's a good film, lovely colours, I love the vibrant colour palette of this film, I love the Mexican theme and culture used in this film and uh, the Day of the Dead. So. Uh, it's a really good film about family, the themes about family is what really powers this film forward, however it has a slightly weak third act, so it's going to go in good. Uh, Dory, Finding Dory, it's a money making sequel in my opinion, it's just going to be okay for me. It, it, it tries to do what this the original does with a new story, it has a similar template and formula, but it doesn't come as close or isn't as special as Finding Dory, uh, Nemo is in my opinion. Finding Nemo is a good film, I think it's much more special as it's the original and you're experiencing this underwater adventure for the first time, but at the centre it's a film about father and son and that really carries this plot forward. Inside Out. Inside Out has probably the most impressive concept, or one of the most impressive concepts, in the whole of Pixar, however, it doesn't really say much at all, aside from the crazy concept, and the main two characters of joy and sadness, or the main two emotions in this film, is you struggle to relate to them as you would for uh, Joe Gardner and 22 in 
song so i think it's just gonna go in okay unfortunately okay next we have monsters inc monsters inc it is in my opinion an absolute masterpiece for pixar it has two of the best characters in all of pixar a wonderful duo mike and sully they bounce off of each other really well and they are two really good lead characters boo is amazing as well and the story itself the, the, and the concept it just takes a simple idea and completely turns it on its head it's truly remarkable um, now we have Monsters University. Being such a big fan of Monsters Inc., I'm not a fan of Monsters University, but it completely just removes all the characteristics of the original and just gives you this very generic uh, university college story. Uh, with it doesn't really say much at all. It's quite a pointless film. It has these characters again, shows you how they met, how they uh, developed, and how they became the people who they are in Monsters Inc. But honestly, it doesn't say much at all. It's pretty cool to see the two leads of Sully and Mike back together again for this film. Onward was released earlier this year, and unfortunately, I found it was quite grounded, and it could have done more with what it had. However, I thought it was heartwarming, and it was a lovely tale of these two brothers trying to meet their father again. Ratatouille truly is one of the most underrated Pixar films, and definitely deserves to be on the upper half. I think I might even put it in Amazing. It's a tale ab about embracing difference, and really saying anyone can do anything. It's a film that really pushes the limits of what we expected from Pixar, and this tale is so important and relevant even now. Soul is the latest Pixar film, and I think it's great. It's top 10 Pixar for me. It's a story about discovering your purpose, what you want to do in your life, and making the most of it. It's also a story about the journey and not just the results. So Joe Gardner really wants to get into this band. He really wants to be the musician on stage. However, he doesn't stop to live. He doesn't in stop to enjoy his life. He finds his life boring because he's just dreaming of where he wants to get to. And 22 is very important in waking him up in a way. Uh, so, The Good Dinosaur. It's one of the weaker Pixar films, let's be honest. I think it's gonna go in okay, maybe. I don't think it's terrible. I just don't think it's anything special. It's just a basic story, I suppose. I don't really have much to say on this one, let's move on. The Incredibles 2 had the challenging task of following up a classic like The Incredibles. And I think it somewhat succeeds. It has comedy, it has humour, it has great action, and it still has that really important family dynamic. And I think it's even improved in this one. So actually, I think this is a good Pixar film. The Incredibles film is full of heart, it's full of wit, and it's just something special. In the superhero sort of genre, we had never seen something like this before. It's definitely something special, and I really think it is top 5 Pixar, possibly. Toy Story 2 is a pleasant sequel. It doesn't quite live up to Toy Story, but it's still a solid sequel. It carries through with the emotion, the heart, and the characters in this whole new story. Toy Story 3 is a special, special film. I really think it is one of the best films Pixar have ever made. It really carries a lot of emotion and it's much more dramatic than any of the others, yet it feels a lot more powerful. So Toy Story 4 is the latest addition to the Toy Story saga and in my opinion it doesn't quite reach the original 3, however it is still special, it still has an important story to tell, it's Woody's story moved on, however I feel like it's all in one place, the story's all in this one shop and it's just an unnecessary sequel I think, I think Toy Story 3 was so good as it concluded so well and I didn't think this was necessary and this does also lacks a bit of the warmth as well that the original 3 have. Toy Story is the first completely CGI animated movie and 
It was something really groundbreaking at the time, something never seen before. It still is a very special film, it's a staple of Pixar, it is one of their most famous films, if not the most uh, famous film from Pixar, and uh, everyone's seen this one, come on, let's be honest. I don't know if Cars is better for me, I know Toy Story is a better film, but I think Cars is a bit more special for me. Up. Oh. I wish I could say it was a masterpiece, I wish I could put it in amazing or great, but I can't. The first act is something really special, that montage is emotional, however, the second and third act on the journey itself, it doesn't really live up to the bar set by the first act. Wally -E is something really special. I think it's where Pixar started to expand into different types of films, into different places, and this film really pushes the limit for Pixar. They really go into space, they have some really deep themes in there, and it works really well. So in amazing, in the amazing category, I have Monsters Inc. and Ratatouille. In great, I have Cars, Toy Story, The Incredibles, Toy Story 3, Soul and Wally. Just, uh, just to say, this isn't actually a clear ranking of them all. This is just roughly where I'd put them. Okay, in good, Finding Nemo, Up, Incredibles 2, Coco and Toy Story 2. In okay, Inside Out, Cars 3, Onward, Cars 2, Toy Story 4, A Bug's Life, Brave, The Good Dinosaur, Finding Dory and Monsters University. So that is my tier list. I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, let me know what you think. Let me know where you'd put these films, which ones are your favourites. And yeah, I will see you next time.